Well, these feeding stations are maintaining a feral cat population, which is a serious problem for uh, native wild uh, birds and mammals. And uh, the problem is that even well-fed feral cats still hunt. It's their nature. It's what they do. It's how successful they've become over eons. And uh, just because they're uh, well-fed, they still hunt. This feeding station uh, behind me is just one example of several that are, uh, have been uncovered in the work that uh, has been done uh, by the Allied Stream Team in recapturing this riparian savanna along our uh, trail system and parks. Uh, if you just take a cursory look around Reading uh, with its huge open spaces, we, uh, for instance, have almost no valley quail. State bird, none. Almost rarely are they seen in Reading. They should be all over the place. There's no hunting. There should be uh, wild quail all over Reading because we have wonderful habitat for them, but we don't simply because they're being preyed on. And the largest predator population is the feral cat population. No question about it. I'd like to see feral cats eliminated from uh, Reading. There's several different ways and none of them are popular. But uh, they can be uh, trapped and euthanized. They can be uh, harmlessly uh, gathered up uh, and uh, again disposed of, transported somewhere else. Uh, you have to find a place to, to take them, uh, that would take them, some sanctuary. Uh, but they've got to get out of Reading. We're trying to get uh, a native population here that is sustainable and increasing. Uh, and, and it's impossible uh, with this large reservoir of predators feeding on them.